Welcome everyone. Today we present you a brief demonstration on rice emasculation and pollination. Rice is a self-pollinated crop. The flower of rice is an hermaphrodite flower. There is both stamens and pistil are present in the same flower. The flower is both clistogamous and chasmogamous. These are two mechanisms which promote self-pollination. In clistogamy, flowers do not open at all, thus ensuring complete self-pollination. While in chasmogamy, flowers open but only after pollination has taken place. Now let's get acquainted with the floral biology of rice. The rice flower is called a spikelet. It consists of six stamens, one carpel, two lodicules, lemma and pelea, sterile lemma, and pedicel. The floral organs are enclosed inside lemma and pelea. For any hybridization program, emasculation is an essential step. And emasculation is nothing but removal of stamens or anthers of a flower without injuring or harming the female organ, which is the stigma. And the purpose of emasculation is to prevent self-fertilization. In rice, hand emasculation is considered to be the most desirable technique. It is done during early morning between 6 am to 8 am before anthesis or in the late afternoons from 2 to 4 pm. Now let us see the different materials that are required to carry out hand emasculation. A sharp pointed pair of scissor, a forcep or needle, pencil, butter paper bag, tags and James clip. So after choosing the male and female parents, in the female parent, first step is to select the right stage of panicle, which is when one third of panicle has emerged. After selecting the panicle, we have to carefully peel off the enclosed panicle from leaf sheet. Next, we will remove the one third portion of panicle from top as anthesis always begins from top to bottom. Similarly, one third of lower spikelets are removed as they are considered as very immature. Now only middle spikelets remain and we proceed to cut the lemma and pelea by 20% below the tip. From each individual flower, six stamens have to be removed carefully without damaging the stigma. Similarly, we will remove all the stamens from the individual flowers. In the end, only one bifurcated feather stigma should remain and with this emasculation is over. After emasculation, we have to bag the panicle with a butter paper bag and clip it properly so as to prevent random cross pollination or entry of any foreign pollen. Before we back, we need to mention the name of male and female parent, then date of emasculation and date of pollination. Date of pollination should be mentioned on the day of pollination, which in general is the next day of emasculation. Pollination is carried out the next day of emasculation. Anthesis begins in the morning from 8 am to 10 am varying from variety to variety and also depending on temperature and humidity and other environmental factors. It is important to keep in mind that the amount of seed set is determined by both careful emasculation and pollination. 
Mature, fertile and viable pollen from the selected male parent are collected in a butter paper bag. The collected pollen is dusted on the emasculated female parent. A brush can be used to dust the pollen. According to reports, pollen viability of rice is usually 30 minutes and stigma receptivity remains for 2 to 3 days. After pollination is done, immediately the same butter paper bag is used to cover the panicle. After that, tagging is done with the information as mentioned in the butter paper bag. This completes the procedure of emasculation and pollination in rice. In general, seed setting occurs within 5 to 7 days after pollination. Proper irrigation and sunlight must be provided for healthy seed setting. Necessary care must be taken to prevent formation of molds or fungi inside the bags by making small punctures with needle for proper aeration.